Hey friends, thanks for watching. So today I wanted to share my skincare must-haves, things that are part of my skincare routine that I am just like obsessed with lately. A lot of you guys have been asking me to share my skincare routine. So I just wanted to talk about the products that I've been using lately. So let's get started. So as far as a face wash, I just love this by Avalon Organics. I mentioned this before. I probably showed this in my previous skincare routine when I was pregnant with Jacob. I still love it. Like I try different types of skincare cleansers and things like that because I get a lot of PR, but I keep going back to this one. Like I love this one. It just, I feel like it brightens my skin when I after I wash it. What I usually do is I'll remove my eye makeup with the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. I've talked about this like 10 zillion times. I just love this wipe. And then sometimes if I want to really get rid of any like eye makeup, if I'm doing like something kind of heavier, like extra liner, extra lashes, things like that, I like using this as the L'Oreal Micellar Cleansing Water. I give it a good shake. I'm not sure if you're actually supposed to, but I feel like when I shake it more, it kind of helps get the product out of my eye even better. And it's really smooth, you guys. Like, no tugging involved. It's, it's just like, you wipe it and all your makeup is gone. It works so well, you guys. After I wash my face, I pat dry my face and then I use this serum. It's the Drunk Elephant TLC from Boo Glycolic Night Serum. Hopefully I said it correctly, but I have talked about this in so many of my videos. If you guys watch my vlog, you guys know I talk about this a lot. This retexturizes your skin, so it will help smooth out your skin. It's supposed to help um, kind of reduce the appearance of fine lines, pores. Um, what I notice is that I have a lot of um, spots that I thought were freckles. I mean, yes, I have freckles, but I thought that the spots that were kind of fading away were freckles. <laughs> and this has helped with any like dark spots that I had from like probably sun damage and it is amazing. Yes, this is ridiculously expensive, but to me, skincare is very important and it's working wonders on my skin. Like ever since I started using it, so many people have asked me like what are you doing with your skin like what is different what's going on it is this my friends it is this and it is working wonders you guys i love this um and a lot of people have mentioned that if their skin is sensitive it kind of stings you know because it is um acid alpha hydroxy acid is in here it's um 12 percent so if you have sensitive skin just do a baby bit like just half a pump you know like don't use too much but a little goes a long way and this will last forever and then after that i let the serum kind of dry sometimes i'll like fan my face with with a paper or something, you know, to just kind of have it dry. And I wait for that to completely dry and then I moisturize my face. This is the Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream, which is drugstore. So I'm kind of evening out the super expensive serum and then the drugstore moisturizer. <laughs> but this helps moisturize my face and it kind of, I feel like it's helping with wrinkles and it kind of makes my face feel really plump after I use it. And after using it for months and months, like I feel like this is a skincare regimen that's really working for me. And then as far as eyes, I've been using this forever and I really need more of it because I'm running out. It's This is the Tula Multi-Spectrum Eye Renewal Serum. And I like it because it has this tip and it just moisturizes the under eye area so well. And I just really like the way it feels on my eyes. And then after that, I go ahead and I moisturize my lips with my EOS lip balm or any type of lip balm. I love the one by Sol de Han de Janeiro, the Brazilian, um, I think it's called Brazilian Kiss. I love that one, but I ran out, so I can't show you guys what it looks like, but it was like, I'll link it below if you guys want to see it or see what it's about, but it smells so good and it's really moisturizing. But this is what I have right now. It's by EOS, and I forgot what scent it is, but I have the purple one. I have like six different kinds, you guys, but it's very moisturizing on the lips. And then I moisturize my body. I have different types of moisturizers that I love using. I have to show you guys all of them. This is Vanna Cream. This helps with eczema and it's really thick and creamy. It has no scent to it. So if you like going to sleep without smelling like something that has so much fragrance, this is definitely something to try. And I found this at Target. And sometimes I like to smell good, especially for my hubby. So this is the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This actually is supposed to help, you know, um, with cellulite on the back of your thighs. I use it for everywhere. I use it on my neck, my arms, um, my stomach, my legs, everywhere. 
months and I honestly cannot say that it's doing anything for my boom boom <laughs> but I'm sure if you continue to use it you know like really rub I don't know maybe it might be working for you but I just love it just because it smells really good and it's very moisturizing and I think this is just such like everyone keeps talking about it but it's totally worth it because it's just it's one of those products that are that are hyped but it's totally worth the hype because it smells amazing like it cannot be duplicated the smell like i haven't smelled anything like it it's amazing and then i actually discovered this for jacob it, it has worked wonders on his eczema and i feel like this is just a really moisturizing hand cream body lotion and it's Avino baby eczema therapy moisturizing cream again if you guys don't like something as thick as Avana cream this is going to work wonders for you because this heals it helps eczema and it really does because i noticed after a couple days with jacob using it his eczema is definitely going away like the little dry patches it's amazing you guys got to try it and sometimes they have it on sale like i got this at rite aid it was like bogo and then the last thing i wanted to share that's part of my routine is the coconut oil you can use it for everything you can use it on your hands sometimes um if i just am lazy and i don't want to get a bunch of products out i'll just do the serum and then i'll put coconut oil on my face and on my eyes and i'll just call it a night that's it and i just love coconut oil for everything especially for my hands and like the cuticle area because i have like the driest hands ever it, it just gets really dry and the cuticle area too and i feel like coconut oil kind of helps that area but those are my skincare must-haves my current skincare must-haves I just love all these things I actually ran out of toner so I stopped using toner but I definitely should still use toner because you know it kind of helps get rid of like the extra makeup that you think that you washed off you know so definitely share a toner that you guys recommend because I'm all out and I want to know but thank you guys so much for watching I will list everything I mentioned in the information box below and you guys I appreciate you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time bye